Here is the story of 180 minutes that would change Liverpool FC's footballing philosophy. In November 1973, Liverpool faced Red Star Belgrade in the second round of the European Cup, the champions of England against the champions of Yugoslavia. By the end of the tie, the Anfield boot room had been rocked to its core. Home and away defeats prompted a major rethink of the Reds' approach and laid the foundations for more than a decade of European dominance. Red Star Belgrade were formed in the wake of the Second World War. In 1966, former player Miljan Miljanic was appointed manager. He was fluent in several languages and travelled all over the world to enhance his football knowledge. He won three consecutive Yugoslav titles between 1968 and 1970, before adding a fourth in 1973. 1973 was a good year for Liverpool too. Under Bill Shankly, they won the league for the eighth time. It meant that the Reds were playing the European Cup for the third time in the club's history. In 1965, they'd lost to Inter Milan at San Siro. In 1966, their dreams were dashed by Johan Cruyff and Ajax. But, having won the UEFA Cup in 1973, they fancied their chances of landing the ultimate prize. Red Star played a 4-4-2 system which mirrored England's World Cup winners of 1966. They also based their style on the dominant Ajax and West Germany sides of the same era. Miljanic said, It is necessary that the player in possession of the ball finds himself as often as possible with a very rich choice of several solutions. This can only be done when a team's players all take part in the attacking play and in defence. Red Star had a withdrawn right winger in Slobodan Jankovic and a classic centre forward in Vojan Lazarevic. On the left was 18 year old prodigy Vladimir Petrovic, nicknamed the Pigeon. Red Star's style of play was often compared to Brazil. Petrovic said, We had a lot of short passes and dribbling. That was our tradition, our school of football. Under Shankly, Liverpool had developed a similar pass and move mantra, but they were considered more traditional. Larry Lloyd was a big stopper at the back, while up front, alongside Kevin Keegan, was the towering target man, John Tosher. The first leg took place at the Maracanã Stadium in Belgrade. From the start, Red Star attacked. They were fast, incisive and accurate. They got two goals through Jankovic and Bogusevic before Chris Lawler pulled one back. Shankly famously said afterwards, They are a good side, even though our fans would not pay to watch the football that they play. It was a freezing cold November night for the second leg at Anfield, and again the difference between the two teams was stark. While Lloyd looked to play long to Toshak, Red Star were composed. They played out from the back in neat triangles, passing forward with fluidity. It was stifling and effective. Even TV commentator Gerald Sinstad noted an ominous silence around Anfield. Red Star took the lead through Lazarevich, meaning Liverpool needed two goals. Shankly's side pressed, they had more possession, created more chances, they ran faster, they worked harder and they fought more ferociously. But Red Star remained in control, even after Chris Lawler levelled the scores on the night. Another Liverpool goal would have taken the tie to extra time. However, in the 90th minute, Jankovic hit a free kick which put the game beyond doubt. Liverpool's European dream was over for another year. Red Star's participation in the competition would last just one more round. In the quarter-finals, they were beaten by eventual runners-up Atletico Madrid. Miljanic left for Real Madrid the following season. There he would win two La Liga titles and the Copa del Rey. He would also manage Yugoslavia at the 1974 and 1982 World Cups. Petrovic spent a year at Arsenal in 1982-83. And when Red Star finally won the European Cup in 1991, the Pigeon was assistant coach. Shankly would not manage Liverpool in Europe again. He resigned suddenly in 1974, having never fulfilled his dream of winning the European Cup. But an important lesson had been learned. An inquest into the manner of the defeat was held straight after the game. Shankly and the boot room boys knew that adopting a similar style to the Yugoslavs was the future. Shankly said, The Europeans showed that building from the back is the only way to play. When they play the ball from the back, they play in little groups. The pattern of the opposition changes as they change. Liverpool's approach to playing in Europe was gradually tweaked, and it brought untold riches. In 1977, they won the European Cup for the first time, and they became a dominant force in the competition, winning the trophy a further three times over the course of the next six years. <laughs>